Hello guys, my name is Andrew and you're on my channel Boring Tech Repair. Today we'll uh, show you how to repair uh, a seemingly unusable and unfixable laptop because this right here is uh, pretty pretty horrid and uh, this laptop uh, which is also German quality as you can see it's made in Germany. Let me see if I can show to the camera right here. It's made in Germany with German quality. Yeah, it's a um, Core i3 with a uh, fourth generation, and I think it uh, it also uh, can be repaired and used once again because it's not a bad laptop. But uh, this right here doesn't uh, this right here uh, doesn't seem to be something you can use on the go or even at home. This particular laptop. Uh, doesn't have parts to be ordered because it's too old and uh, we don't we, we can't find any parts like the bezel or the top LCD cover so uh, we'll have to repair uh, with what we have so I'll show you how to repair it without using uh, anything but tools and some new screws and that's it and some know-how so stay tuned so uh, we can fix it right so we begin by uh, disassembling the laptop in the, the reverse order. Normally, uh, I'll take, I'll disassemble the bottom part of the laptop and then take out the whole screen with the hinges from the uh, from the case because that's the normal way. But in this case, we risk damaging the LCD screen because the hinge is separated from the from the body of the screen. So uh, we'll first we'll uh, disassemble the whole uh, display and take out the display from the top part because it's easier that way so we don't risk uh, losing uh, damaging the display and uh, uh, costing us uh, very much money yeah so let's begin i'll use my trusty uh, toolkit right here for my fix it they're good guys the bezel has some some screws on the corner which we will remove very very quickly and let me just frame the shot so you can see better what i'm doing here and the bezel after removing the screws uh, will come easily right off from the screen so you just uh, begin pulling uh, the side of the bezel which is the, already separated from the screen and just gently pry it right off this is the bezel i think it's in uh, sort of good shape but we have to reuse it because there isn't one uh, available to order the lcd screen has four screws that uh, we remove to uh, access the connector for, for the data and afterwards remove it completely so we can store it in a safe place uh, till we can uh, reassemble everything back together so on the back side of the LCD there is the uh, LV, LVDS I think that's how it's pronounced in English Sorry, it's not my native language, so uh, bear with me. Uh, the LVDS has some kind of tape here. We, you remove the tape slowly from the back of the LCD and just gently remove the connector from the LCD, like so. Remember guys, uh, always uh, remove the battery before handling uh, the connector for, for the uh, LCD screen because uh, improper uh, mounting of the, of the connector will result in um, damaging the backlight of the LCD almost always. In this case, this laptop, I think it has the battery inside but it's already dead so it's not an issue. Okay, 
now that we have uh, removed the LCD screen, we'll get to the bottom side and uh, disassemble the whole laptop so that we can work on the top part uh, safely. This cover. This cover right here, I already unscrewed prior to this. So, right here we have the hard disk drive, which will remove the battery, which, as I said, is already dead, so no issues here. And now we just remove all the screws, all of the remaining screws that are still present, because this laptop, like many others, have a lot of missing screws. They come apart. From, from normal usage and uh, wear and tear and they you just lose them in in uh, in the bed so if you have any uh, loose screws in your bed uh, now you know from uh, where they come Right, almost done with this part. This is a David writer, <laughs> the new model, German quality. Okay, after we removed all the screws from the back side, we now need to turn it over and remove the keyboard so we can uh, we, we can remove eventually remove the uh, bottom uh, bottom part of the case. Just gently pry out the keyboard, gently, be careful not to leave any marks because that's always nasty. And as you can see, we have a hidden screw over here and we just remove that one. And now we can put the we can put the keyboard back into place and kind of securing it because we need to remove the connector for the keyboard which is on the other side. Also, we have to remove the Wi-Fi card and the Wi-Fi antennas. The heatsink assembly for the processor. And the cooler. The way that um, I'm fixing this laptop is uh, an example for all the laptops that have this defect and uh, you can't find any spare parts for it. So uh, uh, it's not very important how I fix this particular laptop or in, in which order uh, I uh, re uh, reassemble it because uh, all the laptops are kind of different, kind of the same but kind of different. So. Uh, uh, your experience may vary 
I just wanted you to show uh, that is it, there is a an alternative to throwing it into the dump and uh, maybe buying a new laptop which is uh, maybe 500 plus dollars or more As I said, uh, your experience may vary. This is just a guide so you can, in part, in great part, know what do you have to do to fix your laptop without the, the possibility to order new parts like uh, hinges or uh, LCD covers or bezels. So right now we remove the bottom, uh, the top part of the laptop completely like this almost done So here is our right hinge, this part comes in the bottom case, this part comes in the top case. So as you can see uh, there are the screws that are left on the hinge because they have broken off from the case. So we will need to save these, uh, these nuts I believe they are called because we will integrate them in the case uh, as we will see later on so that we can firmly screw once again in the cover, uh, the, the hinge, so uh, it will be again uh, stru stru structurally sound, sorry. Okay, so here uh, here is our top case without the LCD screen which in this part this left side is okay it's not breaking off and this part is as you can see completely pulled from the case so we'll need to make some kind of invention so it will stay on and not require us to change the lid Okay. We'll just remove the nuts from the screws that are left on the hinge and reuse them. We'll, we'll use our soldering iron to uh, to make a hole and then to make a hole in, on the case and then uh, put our uh, tiny tiny little uh, nuts from the other side so when we tighten them they don't uh, they don't come out again from the case you will be left with some 
tiny holes on the other side of the lid but uh, uh, stickers are cheap and this is an even cheaper uh, cheaper fix so let's do it my tip for centering uh, the holes is that you want to make a hole with a hot uh, tip from the soldering iron from this part so you can know uh, uh, if you surely have the hole in the right, the right place and then afterwards we'll put the screws the nuts from the other side in the plastic melting it into the plastic so it's uh, it creates a permanent bond to the plastic and uh, there's no way you can pull it from this side when you attach the attach the um, the hinge. One, two, and three. So you can see. Uh, let me show it to the camera. We have three holes on the other side. These are our centering holes for uh, when uh, we will put the tiny nuts from this side so here is the tiny nut yeah so we will just center it above and with a tiny tiny little um, tool like a small uh, sharp needle uh, center it to the hole and then just press it with heat into the case okay let's do it so now we have to we have to just press the tiny nut, as you see here, into the case using our soldering iron. For this, I have chosen my uh, white tip from my soldering iron. Yeah, and uh, I'll use this tiny, tiny, um, tiny, tiny piece of. Uh, it's a tip. I don't know what it is. Ah, okay, it's a tool for removing the seam. I think. So we'll take this the tiny screwdriver and put, it, put the tiny nut on it so we can center it on the hole. And after we center it on the hole with the tiny screwdriver, we can just press it with our hot with our hot um, with our hot tip inside the case. So we know it's just in the right place for us to, to fix it and screw it from the other side with a hinge. So this is what it looks like after fixing it. This is what it looks like. You can press it right from uh, right from the above uh, to the face of the, the plastic case gently not to make any more marks on the case I have done this many times for my customers and uh, they are all very pleased because it has given the laptop a new life otherwise it would be destined to go to the dump Okay, this is the first, this is the first nut and we have two more to go. If in this process you happen to uh, fill the holes from the nut with uh, plastic, just wait for it to cool down and use the same tool uh, that you use to center the nut and just push the plastic out from the hole. 
gently. It will take you some tries, a few tries. But after this, you will have a clean hole for uh, your hinge to screw to. Where's my hinge? This is my hinge, which comes right here. Uh, at the bottom part, we'll have to improvise something because this part doesn't. Uh, uh, it has a, a different kind of screw. This screw is uh, larger in the in the size of the head, so uh, we just remove it from the other side and see what kind of screw is here and then this is the screw from the other side it's it has a wider head but it's uh, the same size metric too so we just need uh, another in this side we'll have to use some screws from our uh, case of screws. On the bottom hole here we will just have to add from this side the nut and press it into the case. Just press it a little deeper so that it, it fits in the plastic from the case and isn't usually and isn't easily removed by screwing the, the hinge. As I showed you before just press it into the case with a hot soldering iron making sure it's leveled so you can uh, screw the, the the screw in it horizontally or perpendicularly I don't know straight Okay, now it's time to see our work and uh, screw the right hinge and see if it holds. As I mentioned, you will have to use longer screws from the, for the case because uh, now that you've uh, you've put uh, the the nuts on the other side, uh, there will be a longer longer hole for your screw to get at the nut. So uh, you can use longer metric tube screws. They are available. I don't know. I, I think online. I have just many screws from my uh, workshop, and uh, I never bought some. Okay, so this is the back side of the LCD cover. Here are the screws that are uh, threaded into the nuts and the nuts are melted into the top, uh, top assembly, the top uh, LCD cover. Uh, I think this is a very good fitment because you can't pull the, the, the screw with the, the nuts from the other side. It, in between them there is the, the thickness of the cover. So it, it has very good strength because when you open the lid you, you pull it this way so uh, all the force is in the, this tiny little hinge as we as we can see this is top German 
quality engineering right here and it was very very expensive like million millions of dollars to put a tiny tiny little piece of, of uh, metal here so that the forces are not concentrated over here but uh, also uh, shared with the rest of the cover so uh, this wouldn't break so easily but once again we have we live in a society where consumption is the key so it is what it is now we just have to reassemble the top part of the laptop and after we we have uh, finished mounting the right hinge and the left hinge we'll just put the lcd back on Okay, we're almost done over here on the top side. I'm sorry, the far left side. So we can turn it back. Now we can put some screws in the bottom case so that we will try to um, we'll try the hinges and see how they work and how they uh, fold together after all a little fix. Okay, I think it work. It works uh, fine. As you reassemble the laptop, uh, you'll need to pay attention to the thermal paste. As you can see here, this is the place where the thermal paste uh, is uh, located and uh, contacts the CPU. Uh, and this laptop appears to have nothing. So it can't be good for the uh, cooling of the laptop. So we'll be careful when uh, reassembling it to put some thermal paste over there, clean it with uh, some alcohol. So also there are some screws missing because uh, they fell probably in the bed of the client. But uh, we'll replace them so that uh, our case has his, uh, its full 
structural integrity and uh, uh, it will not come apart again very easy. Let's test it and see if it still works. I know it doesn't have this heat sink yet, but don't worry guys, we'll just run it for a few seconds so it won't be a problem of overheating. Okay, LCD turns on and it, has, it says fan error because there is no fan. This is the part you need to clean thoroughly because uh, this is where the air uh, exchanges uh, heat from the heatsink and blows it outside so this part uh, when it's clean we will uh, cool the laptop uh, effectively now we just uh, add a little thermal paste here making sure the CPU is clean So now we'll just reassemble it. I know it's just white paste guys, but it's a tiny CPU. We just need to reattach the final screws from the bottom part of the case, the access cover, and we're done. I'm curious to see if we, uh, they all they're, they're all here. I'm sure it's missing one of the other. But no, I think that that's all. Oh no. We're, we're missing one yep and this one it's special because it's a torque screw because why not German quality so we'll just need to dip in into our case of screws and still another screw and finish assembling this screwy laptop As you can see uh, from the top camera, this is the part we fixed because this is the price we pay for our functional laptop now that has a functional 
inch. That works and isn't broken anymore. Yeah, I think it's okay considering we spent almost nothing but our time and some little metric two and two and a half screws and some power for our soldering iron. As you can see, it closes and opens very nice. And if you power it, I'm sure I'm sure it will boot up right away. Like this. You can see, you can hear, pardon, uh, the cooler is working. You can hear it working and spinning up. There's no more error about uh, the fan because it's already connected right now. And uh, as you can see, the laptop is done. It's okay. It's not structurally sound. It doesn't come apart anymore. And it cost us about nothing. So. That's it for our repair for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still learning how to make videos, but if you liked it, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more cheap repairs or uh, more interesting videos about uh, stuff, tech stuff, boring tech stuff. See you.